I suppose I'll try and smash these open with a hammer. Okay, that was fairly easy. And there's the end result. Okay, back over to the worktop again. So this is what we've got. Um, that's obviously the top, so we don't really care about that. But over here, we have... Surprise, surprise. Six, eighteen, six fifty cells, and let's try and pull this out. Now we've got to be careful here because we don't want these things to short together. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, there we go. We can throw that away now. So we've got six cells. This thing here, just zoom in. This is the the uh, BMS. It's called battery management system. And this thing is supposed to protect the user or the battery pack but um, sometimes they can use them for other things as well like um, you know if one cell if one cell is dead this BMS can shut the whole pack off um, they can also be used for planned obsolescence um, when these have had so many charge cycles uh, the companies that produce the batteries can say alright you've charged this 500 times now let's switch the whole battery pack off so you have to buy a new one so yeah this is the BMS so I'll just um, I need to remove this really before I do I'm just going to figure out the, uh, the circuit here and I'll get a knife as well okay so I've got a knife I'll just gently cut these wires away yeah it's interesting how this thing works At the moment I can't see um, much about this, so, oh there we go. Okay there we go, the wire like that, you can see there, you can see how they're connected. Yeah, it's interesting the way they wire these. They've got a minus and a minus connected together, a plus and a plus connected together, so obviously that acts as one cell, actually. And the same here and the same there. So these are acting, there's two cells in parallel there, and then they're in series with the next uh, pair. So that's really interesting. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of the battery management system now. Okay. Okay, so the battery management system's off it. And we have just the cells. And there they are. So Yeah, so these should be 3.7 volts each. I'll just clean these cells up a little bit more and try and strip some of this off it. 
Okay, right. Now I'm going to test these things out with a voltmeter and just see what voltage they are. 